In this video, I wanted to talk about passive range of motion of the glenohumeral joint, uh, particularly uh, shoulder flexion. As you can see in the video, I'm working on passive range of motion in the plane of the scapula. So I'm not going into pure flexion. I find a lot of students and young therapists that I uh, mentor and I talk to are working on in the pure flexion plane. And I find patients find this uncomfortable, especially at end range. So you can see I'm working on the scapula plane where there's more flexibility in the capsule. It's the open pack position of the shoulder joint. And I continually work in that plane. And then as I work through that plane, I begin to work on other directions. So once flexion loosens up, I begin to work on external rotation at 45 degrees of abduction, which is kind of working on the middle glenohumeral ligament, Fle external rotation at 90 degrees of abduction, which is working on the inferior glenohumeral ligament complex. And then I'll work on flexion again in the plane of the scapula. And I repeat this process process over and over again and I'm watching the person as they respond to treatment. I'll mix it up, I'll do some internal rotation, and then I'll continue in that nature. So as you can see, I work on passive range of motion in the plane of the scapula, usually only.